The universe is a strange place that we know very little about. But what is the truth about the nature of the universe? What secrets lie within this seemingly gigantic and colossal space? Is it really as big as we thought? Hello everyone, this is Liam, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, MindBuild77. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you an interesting and thought-provoking universe theory that I've had in my mind for many years now. And I know that some other people have talked about this theory in the past, but I was thinking about this theory and idea long before I knew that anyone else had thought of it too and came to the same conclusion. So everybody knows the basics of the universe, right? 93 billion light years in diameter that we can see so far, billions upon billions of galaxies and galaxy clusters. Now, I talked about what might lie beyond the observable universe in my last video, but in today's video, we're going to be talking about something that's much more interesting. So when I first started thinking about the nature of the universe, I thought of it like a fishbowl, in that the observable universe would be the bowl, and everything else outside of it would be the unknown, what we don't know so far. But then I also would think that everything inside that small fishbowl would lie inside a bigger bowl as well, and it would go on and on. And this would also go in the opposite direction. And there would be a smaller and smaller fishbowl, and then even another smaller one, and the cycle would repeat. And the idea that our observable area of universe is just one of these many, many bowls. Now, this theory does have some evidence to back it up, like the fact that the observable universe looks shockingly similar to the human brain, and that galaxy strands look the same as neurons in the brain. However, the factual evidence for this theory is debatable, and it's really now more so of an idea. One of the things that I found very stimulating to ponder was that if this theory was true, it would mean that the things that we could see now in our part of the universe would be an infinitely small mass as opposed to the next bubble of universe. And this would also mean that we'd be almost infinitely larger than the bubble of universe before us, if that makes any sense. What this all means is that if the brain cell universe theory had some truth to it, it would mean that the observable universe that we could see right now is actually tiny compared to what's beyond it but at the same time being infinitely larger than the fishbowl before our own. But those are really two separate ideas that both have their own merits to them. The fact that we could not see anything beyond about 46 billion light years away from us could mean that there is an end to this part of the universe. Or like I say, it could go on forever, but we don't know yet but it's definitely an odd coincidence for this theory. So does this mean that the whole entirety of the universe that we can see is just a single cell or atom of something else? Or perhaps the brain neurons or cells of another organism? And would that mean that every single atom and cell in the world and in our bodies hold the same set of laws? And all these small particles to us would hold a micro area of the universe within them? It's definitely something interesting to think about, and it puts a lot of things into perspective of how much we actually don't know. I mean, our own bodies have bacteria and tiny bugs that live in us. To those organisms, we are their whole universe and everything that they know. If they were sentient, of course which is another very interesting topic to think about as well. Tell me what you think of this in the comments, and just maybe if your feedback intrigues me, I'll make a second part to this video and add more context and perspectives. But thank you very much for everyone who gave this a listen. This is Liam, signing off, till next time. Bye guys.